Well, good morning. How's it going? We've got an off-road recovery to go to today. I guess there's a uh, GMC 1500 stuck up here in the snow. We got to get it out. And yeah, I know what you're thinking. Stuck in the snow, but it looks like such a warm, beautiful blue sky day. And yeah, it does. But uh, it's like 20 degrees out there with a wind chill of about negative 4,000. So it's cold. And there's no snow here, but there's a lot of snow up there on the mountain where the truck is, so you'll see that in a minute. Now let's go get it. And as you see, we're in the Dodge today, not my four-wheel drive tow truck, because some lady decided my super nice four-wheel drive tow truck would look a lot nicer if she crashed into it, so we'll talk about that later. Well, we're here at the trailhead to Tumalo Falls. It's over there. And uh, check out these mountains up here. There they are. Isn't that cool? It's nice here. I guess he got stuck yesterday, worked on getting this thing out all night, finally walked out and got a ride home. So he's getting a ride back here, gonna hop in with me, go up and get his truck and hopefully drive it home. That's the plan anyway. I'm kind of thinking, while we wait for him, going to chain up the trusty old Dodge. So I don't know how deep the snow is, but we're going up this road here. And I know from previous experience, this road is steep and a sheet of ice the whole way. So let's go ahead and chain it up. All right, we got our chains on. Still waiting for dude to show up. I don't know if I'll need them, but I have a feeling I'll need them. And if I do, I'd rather put them on here on the dry pavement than up there in the snow and ice. So, we put them on. Okay, back in the truck with the heater on, where we should be. Still waiting for our buddy to show up. Um, supposedly, this thing's not stuck too bad, which means it's probably buried to the roof and going to be a total nightmare. That's usually how it goes. There is just a little bit of urgency to get it out today because although it looks like nice, beautiful, blue sunny sky, starting tonight and going in over the next four days, we're supposed to get a snowstorm that uh, is going to dump a bunch of snow up here, probably bury that truck. And if uh, it doesn't come out today, it probably won't come out until April, May, somewhere in the spring. That happens sometimes to cars up here, so, so no pressure or anything. So while we're waiting, I guess I should let my number one employee out. Come on, Chloe. That's Chloe. She runs things around here. All right, we made it. So, came up this road here quite a ways. Chains were definitely a help back there on the icy stuff. And here's our truck. It's not stuck that bad at all. Just in that really bad ice layer that's under this top snow. So, I think, snatch block off one of these trees over here, pull the front end this way, then pull it that way, and then we go home.
to turn around, always try to turn around where you can go uphill. Yeah, that way you can and use pull it back the way down, down out of it. Yeah. All right, rigged from the front bumper to that tree to the rear winch on that truck. That way we can pull this front end down and forward out at the same time so that he's facing the right direction once we get out. All right, put it in gear, but don't give it any throttle. Turn this way all the way? Yep, it's all the way. Okay. Okay, hold the brake. Now hold the brake hard so that your front end slides. Brake? Brake. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, turn all the way driver. And now back up, and it should help slide your front end over here. Chloe, come here. Give some throttle, reverse. Perfect, keep going. Perfect. Now put it in neutral and turn this way. And then let me pull you. Perfect. All right, we're out. Just get unhooked from our tree. And get out of here. He is. There's, there he is. Okay. Now we just got to get him back to the bottom of the mountain. We're all done. So we're going to pull over this little intersection here and let him go in front of us. And if you recognize this spot from the Honda Accord video, that road right there is where we went and got that little Honda Accord from. Let him go first, because this is where we turn back into some super, super hard glare ice. And if he slides off the road, I will be better off behind him to pull him back up. And then there's no chance of him sliding into me. So, that too. And if you look way down there, in the bottom of that valley is Bend. That's where we were at the start of this video. Hopefully, that's where we'll end up after this video. Okay, this is where it turns from decent snow to that hard pack skating rink type ice. It has zero grip, so... This is why I put chains on. dry road. Done. Well that went really smooth. Got up there pretty easy. That guy did exactly what I needed him to while I was pulling him. Didn't do anything stupid. Which always makes things easier. I like it when it goes like that. So I'm going to head back to town, see what else the day has in store for me, and I'll see you guys next time.